Hello, and welcome to our first video on vehicle finance for Grade 12 Essential Math. In this video, we're going to take a look at the costs that you need to pay when you are purchasing a new vehicle. Now, the price that you see advertised for a new vehicle is often much lower than the actual price you will need to pay once you leave the dealership. Let's take a look at where those prices come from. This is the Ford website. I've chosen this one pretty much at random. If we look at this website, you can see that for these trucks, they have a price advertised here. So the Ford F-150 XL starting at 26,339. Now if I click on this little footnote here, you can actually see that this is based on the suggested price. However, this does not include stuff such as AC tax, options, freight, or anything else. This is a starting price or what we call the base price. So how can you find out how much you're actually going to need to pay? Well, if we take a look at the sticker on the side of the vehicle, you'll see something like this. Now, this is a sticker from the United States, but in Canada, they're very, very similar, but I think they're a different color. Things to note here, at the top left, you can see the base price. The price of this particular truck is $52,695. However, once you include the optional equipment, the protection package, the upgrades, the trim level upgrades, the destination charge, all different stuff like that, the total price goes all the way up to $60,000. That's quite a difference. And also see, while we're here, useful information about fuel economy and how much it will cost you to drive this truck. That's good information to know. Now, when you're actually trying to calculate the price of a vehicle, you can follow some fairly straightforward steps. You're going to take the base price or the MSRP. You're going to add in the options and freight. Freight is usually sixteen or seventeen hundred dollars right now, and that will get you your sticker price or the price on the side of the sticker on the car. That is the starting price where you're going to start doing your dealing and your negotiation and trade-in values and that sort of stuff. Once you find the sticker price, you're going to take your trade-in and any incentives or deals that the dealership is offering and subtract them. And then you add in the tax to find your total price. Now tax is worth chatting about because when you look at tax, tax on vehicles is fairly complicated. However, in the back of your exam or in your resource package, you'll be able to find a tax chart like this. Current tax rates will be on it. You can see all of the different taxes that you need to pay or when you need to pay PST or GST. In this case, we're looking at buying new. So there's both PST and GST like on pretty much any other purchase. Now, if you're looking at a new vehicle here, a couple of things to note is that your trade-in is subtracted before tax. That's important. Trade-in and incentives and deals can help lower the amount that you're going to need to pay in tax, and that can work out quite well in your favor. The other thing to note is this total price there is what you're going to have to pay if you're paying cash. If you need to borrow money to pay this, if you need to finance it, or if you're leasing a vehicle, this will look different because you will need to continue on and do more steps after this. We'll look at that in a later video. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say that we have someone whose name is Mary, who's buying a new car for $22,000 or $22,210. She does have a vehicle worth $1,340 as trade-in. So how much will she need to pay for the new car in total? Let's take a look here. I'm going to start off just with her price of her vehicle. So she is going to purchase this for $22,210. Now she has a trade-in of $1,340. So we're going to subtract that. And our price before tax is now $20,000. $870. So this is the trade-in. And if you notice, that gets taken off before tax. Our next step is to use this 
and calculate tax on that. So she's going to need to pay 20,870 times 1.12. Tax is currently 12% and she needs to pay the total including tax. So we're going to use a one out front. That works out to $23,374.40 that she will need to pay for this vehicle after her trade-in. This is pretty much all you need to calculate a question on the cost of a new car on the practice or on an exam. In real life, there are a lot of different things that you also need to consider. When you walk into a dealership, you should realize that there are a lot of different things going on and there's a lot of things that you can negotiate about. You can talk to the dealer about getting different deals on uh, your trade-in. Maybe you get more trade-in value. Maybe you can lower the price that they will charge. They often won't move very much on the price, but they may throw in extras and stuff like that. So other things to be careful for, be very careful about them throwing in little extras that you don't really need. Stuff like uh, extended warranty might be worth considering. Undercoating, paint protector, fabric protector, even a rust protector, which is interesting, are generally not worth the price because you can generally get them a lot cheaper somewhere else. Dealership will often charge 10 or even 20 times what it's worth. So those nickel and diming little things, be careful for that. One thing that's also really important, your strongest tool, your best negotiating tool when you're negotiating for a new car is to get up and walk away. Don't say you're going to, just get up and walk away. Usually, sales manager will beat you to your car and we'll have a better deal for you before you get there. Hope these are a couple of tips that help you. I hope this makes it a little bit easier to understand how to calculate the costs on a new car. Have a great day.